uh, for your pocket and they're getting smaller every day and we're putting in a lot more capability in these devices. So the main challenge for us is to how do we take all the new technologies, how do we integrate those technologies into a small form factor and still deliver the level of quality from a functionality standpoint and also from a reliability standpoint. At the end of the day, these things are um, made to be used. So people actually use them in every condition because these are mobile devices. Uh, the conditions can range from different temperature range to a lot of uh, situations where you throw these things in your car, your gym bag, or you, you drop them on the floor. But most importantly, what we want, our objective is for people to use these devices um, as much as they need to to be productive in their lives. Uh, we, we have extensive amount of testing that we do in our devices where we build a lot of working devices that we have an extensive test suite from hardware to software and then at the end we take our prototypes into mass manufacturing phase. So when you drop a phone on the floor you're imposing a load on it and this force field actually travels through the phone and applies these loads to the different components. So the G level that I'm facing is 1G. When you drop a phone, the G levels are 20,000 G because the G level it's seeing for an instant of a time, okay, it's less than a microsecond, the G level may be 20,000 times as the phone is dropping. Because it's very possible right on the hit, it's, it's okay. And just at the end of the hit, the stress field hits it and causes it to break. We know when a part is gonna fail because we know at what stress it's gonna give up. And two hours of failure could be a simple thing like it's bent, it could be dented, or it actually breaks like a glass breaks. We need to understand and we need to know it upfront in the design. And so if you think about the technology, if you think about the reliability, if you think about manufacturing challenges, if you think about uh, fit and finish and the build quality, and then you add choice on top of it, from an engineer standpoint, it is a really difficult problem to solve, but you know, we take that challenge on every day and we solve it and it's really great.